Hello, by the grace of God, I'm back again with you with another video. I hope all is well with you. I pray God bless you in a mighty way, in a special way, and can take you through every day by the grace of God. Amen. I'll say a short word of prayer at this time, then we'll go to the scripture. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. Lord, you know what's good for us. You know what's best for us. Lord Jesus, we just want to rely on you, lean on you, depend on you, trust you, and study your word, and want to be like you in this earth. Lord Jesus, love one another, pray for one another. Go to our trials and tribulation, asking you to help us to get through it, Lord, each and every day. Not trying to do it ourselves, and not praying, and not reading the scripture, and not asking you for help, Lord. We need your help. We need your help every day, and every minute of the hour, Lord, we need your help right now, Lord Jesus. Continue to touch and have mercy on everybody in the whole world, Lord Jesus, everywhere, Lord. Have mercy upon us all, Jesus, please, Lord. All of us have trials and tribulations. All of us is going through something, one thing or another. But thank you for your love and mercy and kindness, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Lord Jesus, you let us live to see another day. Praise God. Pray, Lord, continue to have mercy on the children in school, out of school, wherever they may be at, Lord Jesus, and their teachers and their families, Lord. And even have mercy on our enemies, Lord Jesus, please, Lord. Bring peace. Bring peace, bring peace, Lord, I pray and ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Know that you died on the cross for everybody in this world. There's nobody you don't love us, nobody you don't care about us. We just turn to you, ask for forgiveness, you will help us, and you help us to get through these things, and you help us to be together on one accord, not one accord, not fussing and arguing and hating one another, but loving one another, trying to help one another, because we have enough going on in this world without us, without us acting like that. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all things and everything, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and mercy and kindness, Lord. Can you have mercy upon us, Lord? Help us all, Lord. Please, Jesus, and all mention, God, fail not in blessing those in the hospital, nursing home, wherever they may be at, Lord Jesus, sick on a bit of affliction, going through something, lost this loved one, Lord Jesus, traveling mercy for everybody, every way, Lord. I pray and ask in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and I pray, God, continue to bless those that was in that tornado in Tennessee, Lord, lay the blessing upon them, Lord, and I helped them to get through that tragic time, Lord Jesus. And thank God for all those who uh, escaped it. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And, and let us pray for those that had problems and troubles. Uh, maybe the loved ones got hurt in that a tornado some kind of way, Lord. Some kind of way. Lord, help us to pray for them. Jesus, could that could happen to any of us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for another day. All these blessed thanks we ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Lord, you're good. Lord, you're kind. You're merciful to us all, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your love and mercy. And thank you, Jesus. Help those that are going through the trials and tribulations, these storms and hurricanes and tornadoes and all. It's hitting us all here and there and everywhere, Lord Jesus. Help us to get through it, Lord. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus, Lord. Use our only help. We got. We can keep our trust on trust. I mean, what I'm trying to say is we can keep our trust in you, Jesus, and lean on you. And you're working it. And you will work it out for us, whether we see it or not. You're working it out for us right now, Lord. You know what we're going through, Lord Jesus. You know what we're going through, Lord Jesus. You know what we can handle and what we can't handle, Lord Jesus. We're going to go to this word of God at this time. We're going to be at Numbers. Praise the Lord. Numbers, Numbers, um, not Numbers, I'm sorry. Hebrew, the 12th chapter, starting at the second verse, looking unto Jesus, who's the author and finished of our faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is what it says in Hebrew chapter 12, we're going to the uh, second verse. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is sit down at the right hand of the, of the throne of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is sitting down on the throne of God, waiting for that day for that Jesus would say, it's time to go get your people's. Uh, from the uh, earth now. Go get the children of God, the believers to redeem and bring them home to rest in that new heaven and new earth. It's going to happen one day, praise the Lord. We don't know when, but we know it's going to happen. But by the grace of God, we thank God every day. Let us live. Some people say, wow, all this trouble, but God know what he's doing. Let's just trust God and keep trusting him and believing what he said, praise the Lord, amen, because he is our keeper. He is our helper. Whether we, we, uh, we uh, believe it or not, accept him or not, he still is our keeper. He is our life. If Jesus stopped 
taking care of us. We won't breathe. We can't talk. We can't speak. We wouldn't have a mind to thank you. It went for the power of God. So we thank him for it. He looked beyond our thoughts and sees our needs every day. Praise the Lord. He is a good God. And he gives us a chance to repent of our sins and get saved. Praise the Lord. Before it's too late, praise God. God is good. God is good. God is good. I'm telling you. We couldn't make it this far. It was for him, whether we believe in him or not. Praise God. Amen. And it tells us to look unto Jesus, who's the author and finisher of our faith. Praise God. Tell him what he's saying about uh, um, that. You're saying what, he, what Jesus is saying. He's saying for us to, uh, to look unto him and re rely on him, the word of God. Let it be translated through the spirit of God to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Focus our eyes and, and gaze upon him and look for him to and some and look for his confidence and and his help and uh, and asking him to fix our eyes where he want our eyes to be be upon not these evil things and not these cruel things and want to do the things that's wrong but want to turn to God and do the right things that please him. and the sights of God what I'm trying to say praise the Lord amen Jesus is our encouragement in this race both as our example and as as our helper, he's our helper, he's our example, he's our encouragement through the word of God. And you won't get the encouragement from God if you don't read the word. You got to read the word of God in order to see what encouragement God has given us, praise the Lord. So we won't be leaning to our own understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He is our example. He And that's who we follow in that children of God. We follow after Jesus through the word of God and the Holy Spirit that in us help us and teach us how to understand the word of God, how to pray, how to focus our heart and our mind on the word of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's our only help. You can't live a Christian life. You can't please God doing what we want to do. You can't live a Christian life, what I'm trying to say, but that the Holy Spirit joining in, uh, uh, after we have accepted Jesus as our personal Savior, then we receive the Holy Spirit, then we're able to follow Jesus. We're able to understand what the Bible is telling us. Praise the Lord. Because you can't always listen to people in church preaching. We got to have a time that we have together with the Lord at home where we read the scripture and pray and get understanding and wisdom and knowledge for him and get help and strength and hope and courage. Amen. From our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our life, whether we believe it or not. We wouldn't have no life if it wasn't for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, he went through, despite the shame, he went through all that trouble at the cross, being beaten, everything happening to him that they could do to him, they did. But he did not give up because, you know, if he gave up, we would never have a right to the tree of life. We would never be able to get to heaven, amen, and live in that peaceful place forever and get out of this world with all his problems and troubles. But he did it, and he tell us, he said, if I made it, you're going to make it. I'm going to help you to make it. But we got to put our trust in him. We got to believe in him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can't doubt him and, 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 and want to go to your own way and do what you want to do, make up your own kind of religion. That won't get you in heaven. It's got to be through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, for the whole world. Praise God. Even our enemies, he, he, he died for them too, because we was an enemy of the cross one time before we got saved. Praise God. But thank God I'm not an enemy of the cross no more. I'm a believer. I believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe in living by the word of God. I believe in loving. And what that means is that I love my I love my, I love people. I love the souls. I don't love the wrong, I don't love the things that they are doing, what I'm saying, the wrong things that they are doing. Sinful things that I did, that I did, I had in my life before I got saved. All us bone and sin and shaped in iniquity. You hear me say that many times. None of us came in this world doing right, but only through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Believing in Him, accepting the Holy Spirit, that now we can change and have a different mind. I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to hate nobody. I'm not plotting against nobody. I'm not getting up nobody, no crowd against nobody. I pray God have mercy on all of us, every last one of us around the world. Bring us together. Bring peace to us all. Praise God, because God is love. He not hatred. He don't bring hate. He bring, he want that. He he want hate to go. He wanted to disappear. He don't want us to have no part of that, especially if we say that we sure know God. But we got to rely on Jesus and let him take us through because he is our example. He is our helper. Praise God. And he is, and Jesus is the forerunner who has gone, who, who has gone before us. Praise the Lord. So he been through that what we are going through now. He been there and done that. So he know what to do. And he said, if I made it, with my help, I'll help you to make it too. So let us love the Lord and turn to God. And those that have not turned to the Lord yet and don't believe, believe on the Lord and save with Jesus Christ. He's nobody to hurt you. He's to help us. Praise the Lord. Get where we should get as Christians. 
if in, uh, we are not even Christians, praise the Lord, not believers and redeemers from God, from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as we accept him as our personal Savior. And he, God, want us all to be saved. He don't want nobody to be lost. When he come back, he, he, he would take the whole world up if they accept him. But if we don't make it back with Jesus because we don't leave him. Amen. We don't believe him. He, otherwise, you believe in him. You will not be left up behind. You got to believe in the Lord and say with Jesus. He given us time to get it right. Praise God. And I'm so glad about it. Praise Lord. And I pray you can help. God will help you. Even my family, those that are, are, not, are not saved yet, not have accepted him as the person of Savior. I hope they get him before it's too late. Because he's a good God. He help you when you're sick, when you're up and down, when people don't understand you, when they can't help you. You can lean on Jesus and depend on him and pray. And he'll help you to get through it and give you strength. What people can't give you, but God can give it to us. Praise the Lord. He is our example. Let's follow the footsteps of Jesus. Get your Bible. If you say, read the Bible. Go to verses and, and learn about the Lord and seek him. And you shall find knocking the door shall be open because he loves you. Praise the Lord. Amen. He wants us all to have peace. He don't want us to be hating and doing all these things that are going on to one another. God wants us to have peace and God will bring us peace. If we want that peace, he will bring it. Praise the Lord. Pray, pray Lord, continue to bless you and help you and get you through your day. Each and every day, God is love. He's merciful to us all. And he helps us all. And no fault in Jesus. It's always in us. But we want to do the right thing. We want to repent and, and, and ask God to forgive us of our sins. So we'd be welcome into that new heaven. Amen. That he had prepared for us. Praise God. We got a place that's going to be better than where we're at now. We should be glad about it. We should be really happy about that. Praise God. Jesus is the answer at 